you, but you took an absolute beating that 99 season. Let's <laughs> let's just call it for what it is. I mean, it was a, be, it was, a beating on and off the field. <laughs> yes, yes, not, yes, exactly. You're not a very, you're not a very popular play, uh, person around campus when you're 0 and 11 at quarterback, yeah, and, and you're the starting quarterback of the team. Yeah, yeah but yeah. so I, I would love to hear again perspective on that. I mean, you go through that. You're one in 21. Your last 22, and again. You know, as the quarterback, I mean, you're you're the CEO of this thing. You're you're the face yeah. of the franchise, if you will. And I I talked to Langston, you know, of course, your former teammate, a little bit about this uh, the other day, just about what impresses me most. I think because again, you were the quarterback of that team, but also the quarterback of the greatest turnaround in college football history. Like, you're the leader. How how are you able to stay positive? And I I guess going in the 2000 season, like keep guys going, like continue to show up to to morning workouts and go hard and practice. Because again, you had to have that type of energy and that enthusiasm yeah. and that positivity to turn the thing around. But like you yeah. mentioned, I mean, when you're one in 21 in your last 22, it's pretty hard to to rally <laughs> the troops and you know get everybody yeah. on your side and everything. So yeah. you know, being the leader of that, how, how did you handle that? Well, first of all, you don't read you don't read the newspaper. You don't you know back then we didn't have the social media. A lot media easier without Twitter, right? A lot easier. Yeah, we, lot, we didn't have social media, <laughs> yeah. which was great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, so you don't do that. Though, but you know, you try not to read the state newspaper. You try not to do certain things. You just try to focus. And then we knew we had talent because the two classes that we signed back to back, we we knew there was talent there. It was just young talent. And then we had a, a ton of injuries on the offensive line that you know my sophomore year. I mean, a ton. So it wasn't. It wasn't like they weren't talent. There wasn't talent there. We just had a ton of injuries. And so that's why I took the beating that I took. And it was a hell of a beating, you know, but I mean, but we got through it. And so, you know, you just, you keep working, you know, you tell the guys, hey, listen, we're going to get better. We knew we were implementing a new offense. Uh, we knew that Charlie uh, was coming in on defense. They were going to mix up some things. They went to a 3-3 uh, a three, three defense. And so, you know, they were doing some some different things. So we knew like, you know, Hey guys, we just got to stick together on this deal. We got to bust our tails, you know, work hard in the weight room. We're only going to get better. You know, we can't go down from here. Right. So we can only get better. So uh, we, we really did, man. We had a bunch of guys that believed in each other. We had a lot of character guys, but we had a lot of talent too, you know? And so we just all stuck together and said, Hey, we're going to get this thing done, you know, come, come hell or high water. And so we just, we just really and truly, we just stuck together and, and said, hey, we're going to get it done. 